Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today I am going to show you about how can we measure the reverse bias voltage. Okay. So this question I got in the comment section. Okay. And you can see this this question I got in the comment section. So I'll I'll show you how we can measure the reverse voltage reverse bias voltage of diode in lt spice okay so you can see here this side the requirement is a sine wave with 24 volt peak to peak amplitude is given to a diode and having a series connected resistance of 100 ohm how we can measure the maximum reverse bias voltage that appears across the diode okay so you can see here i have connected i have connected here a voltage source sinusoidal voltage source you can see with the amplitude peak amplitude of 12 volt and the frequency is 50 kilo, 50 hertz only sorry 50 hertz so if if i say the peak amplitude is 12 volt that means peak to peak amplitude is 24 volt that is what we got in our requirement right and now you can see i have connected a simple diode in 148 and a series register of 100 ohm that is that is the same what it, what it has been asked in comment section okay so this is very simple circuit you can see this is also half wave rectifier circuit okay so now this circuit i have already drawn to, and now you need to do the simulation so go at this edit simulation command and stop time is 100 millisecond okay you can see now i directly run the simulation run the simulation and i'll show you the reverse bias voltage so let me divide this into three plot pane so just click on here right click right click and add plot pane so in the first plot pane i'm clicking here guys so i'll show you the input voltage okay so this is your input voltage sinusoidal in the second plot pane i'll show you the the voltage which appears across this diode r1 so you can see here it it looks like it's a half wave rectifier now in the third step i'm going to show you the reverse bias voltage of this diode okay so how will you measure the reverse bias voltage of this diode so it's just just i'm going to show you about this so in order to in order to see the reverse bias voltage of this diode what you need to do is you need to click on here this line okay before the diode just cl click on here so click and then hold your mouse what you do you will after clicking here after clicking here you will hold your mouse and drag your mouse to this point and drop here okay okay so i did the same now you can see the reverse bias voltage which is appearing across this diode so you can see this is this is the condition when the diode is conducting and when the diode is conducting it's around 0.9 volt 0.85 volt and you can see this is the this is the portion this is the portion where diode is not conducting okay this is the portion where diode is not conducting that means this is the reverse reverse bias voltage which is appearing across your diode so how will you do this you just click on this wire hold your mouse hold your left click i would say hold don't after clicking this don't leave just click it here hold your mouse and drop it here you will see your reverse bias voltage okay so let me show you here the reverse bias voltage just click it here hold your mouse and drop here you can see okay just left click it here hold your mouse and drop here you will see the reverse bias voltage in order to see the current of uh, current in any components you just click on this let's i want to see the current flowing through this diode i will move my cursor in the diode and i will click once 
so you can see this is the current you can see this is the current id1 you can see in different in the different color okay if you want to see voltage at any point you need to just double click on that point okay so so like this now you can see the voltage 